What's up everyone, this is Gilly and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. Uh, today I want to show you how to make a basic car with suspensions and big wheels. Now as you can see I've already taken the liberty to uh, make a small platform. This is 9 wide and uh, I think 15 long but the, the, the length doesn't really matter for this purpose. Um, as you can see I've also made this go up a bit. Be and that's because the suspension is quite long so if you don't do that let me show you suspension is long and it still sticks out as you can see now if you don't do that your suspension is gonna be here and you're gonna have wheels uh, right here and then your suspension then your is gonna look funny so you have to have these now what I like to do is I like to use uh, off-road suspension for the back wheels and sports suspension for the front wheels now the front wheels are one block less high and uh, that is very useful because we cannot uh, place the bearing on the suspension so we need to add an extra block an extra pipe to to create that bearing because we need this bearing on front wheels to be to be able to steer so that's fine so let me just put down the suspensions I'm gonna put the back suspension right there and then I'm going to put the front suspension, the sport suspension, right there. Now you can see that this is very short, but we need to add an extra block so it's all going to get even. I'm going to use big wheels for this tutorial. There we go. Now you see we need to add, we, let me show you, this is the bearing. It cannot be placed on the suspension, only here. So we add this block then we add the bearing now this bearing is needed to turn the wheel left and right so be able to be able to steer and this is going to be the front of the car so let's add the bearing here as well no that's ugly nope I want the opening to point inside yes right so um, let's add the bearing here now we need to have a place for our wheels and uh, I think this pipe looks really nice to do that so let me just put them there with Q you can move them and now we need to add bearings for the wheel to be able to spin it's pretty use useful to do that uh, right so we add the wheel let me grab a big wheel because this is a big, big platform and kaboom that's it. Now we need to be able, we need to remove some of these blocks because the wheel needs to steer and it's going to hit those things. Now let's do the back. This one is very easy. Just add this thing, the pipe, the bearing, and add the wheel. Same goes for this side. There we go, and now we have it. Kaboom! Sp suspension and everything is working. So let's put the uh, the uh, seat, the driver's seat, in there. Yes. Let's see. Now it might look high, but it's going to go lower. The suspension is going to go in because we're going to add more weight. We're going to add the engine. This the driver's seat so let's add the driver's seat right here and uh, we need to find a nice area for the engine maybe we can put the engine somewhere inside I don't like it when engines stick outside so let's add the engine you might have noticed that it's not symmetrical but uh, it doesn't matter for the purpose of this video let's add the engine switch it like this all right, then we can add the steering the like that. So let me not add it in front. Now this is a, a very basic platform. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute what you can do with this setup. Um, we've add the engine. Now we just need to link everything up. Let's see. We need to the turning bearings need to go to the passenger seat, the driver's seat. Sorry. The engine has to be connected to the wheels. 
You can choose to connect them to the front wheels only or the back wheels only. It doesn't really matter. Whatever is your preference. But make sure you, before you remove the uh, lift, that you connected the engine to the uh, driver's seat. Because if you do not do that, it's going to run off without you. Let me just show you guys that it's going to run off. Right now, I have only connected the engine to the uh, wheels and I did not connect it to the passenger seat. So let me just switch it on and unknowingly remove this and you see it's going to it would want to run off without us but it can't because I did not put the directions of of the car nicely <laughs> let me just put it on the lift for now and connect the engine to the pass the driver's seat now let's change the direction of the wheels that one should change this one is good this one is wrong change it with the right mouse button and now they should all be correct the only thing left to do is to check out how the steering is working I'm gonna steer to the right and it's steering to the left so we only need to change the direction of these two there we go Let's check it out to the right. There we go. Now, as you can see, we have a problem. The wheel cannot really move because, well, there's blocks in the way. So we have to find, we have to remove that without uh, let's see, we can do it like this. We have to remove that without dropping this thing. Now, what you can do right here is you can make a nice with, with uh, different types of blocks we can make a very nice uh, what, how is it called? corners, I don't know right, so let me just do this for the other side as well just fill this up and this is just very basic but you can use any style you want oh no, I removed the wheel <laughs> Let me just put it back. Oh, it's in the ground. There we go. There, and now we should be able to steer. Let me remove this. A bit nicer. There we go, and we can. Right, so let's drive to the other cars. Oh, wait, we gotta put some throttle on the engine. I'm not putting too much. There we go. You see it's working. There's not a lot of throttle, but that's fine. We can take it easy. And now you have a steering uh basic steering car with suspension. It can go off-road. Let me just take it a bit off-road so you can guys can see it. Let's put some more throttle though. And when you build this car, when you add interior and walls the springs are going to go halfway down or even more and the wheels are going to feel look more natural to the car there we go the steering is working really nice we can take the car off-road the suspension is just working perfectly don't hit the tree there we go alright so let's check out the other cars I'm just gonna show them to you guys And those are some cars that me and some friends, uh, two friends made. I made one of them and uh, the other friends made uh, also another car. Almost the same based on this uh, platform. Big wheels, suspension. There you go. There they are. And they came out really good, I must say. They also have uh, functionality inside. They look pretty sweet. So yeah, as you can see, they're not so high anymore on the suspension because they have a lot of weight now. So this is a car, this is a grill door, an emblem. This has a suspension, you can see this is what I meant. But this car also has it very beautifully. You can just do something like this and something like this. It looks very good. Let's see. This is the interior of this car, there's a cockpit, what is, there are some buttons. Oh, 
You gotta have a radio in your car, obviously. Oh, that's the handbrake. Uh, let's see there, what button? That's the horn. Alright, and we also have uh, a hatch for the back. For some reason, it doesn't want to open. Let me show you the handbrake. Very simple, but it really works. Right, so this is an also an awesome car, made by a friend. And uh, it has some buttons. For example, you put the engine in here, two engines, it's, it looks really nice. A horn, a brake system thingy, and a boot. <laughs> Let's put it on the brakes. Now this is a really nice car. I really like this one. Also made by a friend. It has this. It's so cool. Dum dum dum. It's really nice. <laughs> and it works really good. It steers really nice. It also has a radio. A horn. And uh, a boot that opens like this. I mean, you can make so many cool things with this this concept. Uh, this is a work in progress. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a grappling thingy. It's still a work in progress, but it has a it has um, bearings like this. Ta-da! It folds a bit weird though. I'm still haven't figured out the folding, or have I? You, you'll be the judge. It has to fit in there. There you go. Wow. It really folded very nicely. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope I, you have some inspiration. I want to give a shout out to my friends who made uh, those cars. And um, give them credit for that. And I'll see you guys maybe in the next tutorial. Have a good one. Oh, please like this video if you... Uh, and if you... Uh, Enjoy our effort. <laughs> if you appreciate our effort. Thank you and uh, ciao.